Hi friends, I have a special treat for you on this beautiful March uh, 17th, 2024 day. I'm gonna do a what sold video. Now, I don't do these very often because of my, my shipping schedule. I have stuff out in two to three days. And so I normally don't accumulate as much eBay has been on fire for me, friends. Um, I would say it started going crazy probably two weeks ago, I would say. Um, and I've been pretty much on a roll, been selling a decent amount of stuff. And so the way that the time worked out, I am able to show you a total of 14 items that have sold between Poshmark and uh, eBay. Um, but before I get into that, friends, why don't you like this video, subscribe, share it to your friends. I think these videos are really good for newbies. They're good for anybody who wants to learn, but I think especially so, so for newbies because I like to show a lot of realistic stuff, realistic for me anyway, uh, meaning that I am a bread and butter seller for the most part. And if you have been watching me for any length of time, then that is what you know me as. I It's hard for me to find couture designer items. And so I work with what I have. I make lemonade out of lemons and I make money. That's what matters, friends. And I want you to make money with me. Don't get discouraged because you can't find what other people are finding. Comparison is the thief of joy. And I just want to prove to you that you can make money doing this, okay? So we're going to start off, we're going to just jump right into it um, on Poshmark. And these are my sales today, Sunday. I'm not including anything from today, Sunday. And I haven't sold anything today, so that works out perfectly. But these are going to be sales from Wednesday through Saturday. So that's five days of sales. Uh, the first one is are these pants by Sundance and I don't know if you've heard some of these you may have seen on some haul videos these are like that gauzy type cotton um real lightweight feel type of pants now I have to say that I'm not 100% happy with and it has these cute like seashell buttons not 100% happy with this purchase or this sale because these pants have flaws on them. And I personally do not like selling things with flaws. I will do it sometimes depending on the item. I showed you all an Eileen Fisher. I don't know if you all remember an Eileen Fisher denim linen dress. And when I got it home, it had a pretty sizable bleach mark on the back. And I was debating it whether I should sell it. I had paid like six or seven bucks for it. So I was pretty bummed. And um, I did end up selling that in a fairly quick amount of time. So I did ship the, I mean, I did post these. It did have one little spot that I noticed and the belt, the belt, not the belt loop, the button loop right here is fraying. Now, the reason I'm not too happy with this is because I did mention in my description that the button hook was um, fraying a little bit, but I didn't take a close up picture of it and post it in the listing. So I'm a little bit concerned that my buyer is not going to be happy with it. Um, so if they get these and they're not happy, I'm more than happy to just let them keep the pants because that would be my fault for not showing a picture of it. Now, I did sell these on Poshmark. There were a total of three sales on Poshmark and 11 on eBay surprise surprise and if you've been following me for any amount of time you know that Poshmark is not that girl for me she's very inconsistent she does what she wants so it's not surprising that I only had three sales for her in the past five days the Sundance pants sold for $16 um and so my net was $12.80 for that the next thing I sold was this, never heard of the brand. I don't sell a lot of baby stuff. I sell mostly clothing. And if you have been following my channel, you know that. But this is just a little kid's orange color, organic cotton uh, play yard, pack and play mattress. And I had that posted on Poshmark. Uh, they did send me an offer for $10. I'm making a profit of $7. Correction, it would probably be six after cost of goods. Six dollar profit, uh, whatever. It's money. My best sale or my highest priced sale of the week did come from Poshmark, which isn't surprising. I sell stuff for more on Poshmark than eBay. Was this coach purse? I have had this listed on Poshmark for quite some time. I don't know exactly how long, definitely over a year. 
probably two years. She's a crossbody. She's a vintage. She's the patchwork. She does have a few minor flaws, nothing crazy. I don't even see them here just by giving it a quick look. This is a crossbody bag, and I believe I had it on there for $45. The price has been up and down throughout a year or two that I've had it there. I've I've ended it. I've sold similar several times. Always had a bunch of wild watchers. Nobody ever bit the bullet and did it um, and brought it. But somebody did send me an offer for $40, which was quite reasonable. And so I netted $32. But my cost of this, like I said, it was a while ago. Most likely I would have paid anywhere from $3 to $5 for this. So let's say $5 on the high end. Those were my three sales from Poshmark. So that was a gross of $56 and um, a $52 net minus a $7 cost of goods would leave me with an actual a profit of $45. Okay, for three sales, eh, not too shabby. Now, the next items are going to be all eBay items. Uh, where shall we start? I sold this Adriana Papel top. I definitely showed you all this in a, just a basic, you know, basic, basic blouse. Size small. And I have told you all plenty of times how difficult it is for me to sell smaller items. But I did pick this up because she was new with tags. Has the Marshalls tag. We're going to take that off, of course. And she sold for $18. And that was an offer, I believe, that I sent to the customer. Because I had it up there for $20. That was that. Sold this Eileen Fisher linen skirt. And I think that you will notice with many of these items, if you're paying attention, very spring vibes, okay? We're going into spring now and it shows. I would say my linen items started to sell about a month ago. So I'm definitely notice, noticing that the sales are gearing more towards the springtime items. So I am going to list the very last of my winter items and anything that I get from here on out, um, is, is probably just going to go in a bin and I will list them closer to the winter time um, because people are looking right now it looks like based on my sales that people are looking for those floral Easter dresses those spring dresses the skirts are selling skirts don't sell very often for me uh, my cat keeps trying to get into the closet um, and so this Eileen Fisher sold for $27 and I had her listed for 20 months. I think that was a long time to have this listed for an Eileen Fisher. What size was it? And she was a large. And that was an offer because I think I had her listed for 30 bucks. And then I also, here we go again, linen friends. There, there's quite a, there's quite a few linen items here. We have this linen tall bits, 100% Irish linen, 100% Irish linen shirt. Irish, does it say Irish? Yeah, pure Irish linen. It's a 1X, beautiful spring color. Once again, you're going to see a bunch of the spring items. This is what people are looking for right now. And again, if you have watched me in the past, you know that I will list all seasons all year long. But because I don't have a lot of time, I like to concentrate on and focus on what the people want right now, which seems to be gearing towards spring items. I sold that for $18. I sent the buyer an offer. Um, I had it up there for 20. The offer was 18. They purchased it. And this also had been listed for 20 months. Um, and then we have this Ann Taylor. This one was a surprise for me. Again, I don't really get a ton of, um, really small items. Petites take forever to sell for me. Loft dresses in general take forever to sell for me. But this one did have the tag on it and I prop I think I paid a dollar. And so I couldn't pass it up pass it up. It is a zero zero petite. Um really tiny size. But again, here we are with these spring dresses. The dresses are selling. The linen is selling they're selling friends, so get your stuff up there. What you waiting for? Uh, and this sold for $18 on an offer. I had her listed for six months. 
I'm gearing away, leaning away from children's items. I used to post a lot of children's items. They sell, they take forever to sell. So I have been slowly um, moving away from them. I know some people make money on children's clothes. They do sit for a long time for me. And so this is just one of the ones that I had from before. And this is the Crew Cuts. Ooh. Well, now I'm kind of wondering, because on my paper I wrote J. Crew, and I'm kind of wondering if I put J. Crew in the title. Hopefully not. Even though Crew Cuts is is kind of like J. Crew, I think it's the children's version. I hope I, I'm, I say all this to say that I hope that I put Crew Cuts in my description. After the video, I'm gonna have to go back and check. This is the Crew Cuts Ludlow Boys, bigger boys pants. They're like cotton, um, what do you call this? Railroad stripe is what they call it. And I, I think that this is part of their suiting collection. So again, probably for Easter. Somebody's probably gonna get dressed up for Easter. This is a boy size 12. And this sold for $20 full price. Not bad for a kid's item. You know, 20 bucks, brand new tags. Not bad. Uh, this was listed for 19 months. Club room, I had this listed for a while. I had this men's polo listed at probably $15. Had it listed for a while. This was listed for 14 months. It was $15 most of the time. I just recently relisted it a few days ago, maybe a week or two ago. I relisted it at a lower price of $13 and it sold fairly quickly. So make sure that you are, when you're uh, selling similar, because I end my items like once every three months, I end them and I sell similar. If I had more time, I would end and sell similar on eBay more often, but I just, I don't. So I, I will end the listing completely and I will sell similar once every three months, should be doing it more often. Uh, and so I just review your items when you're selling similar. If your item isn't selling, you have to go back and look at those prices and readjust because somebody wanted it at $13. Nobody wanted it at 15 bucks. That's the men's polo and that sold for $13. That was a full price sale. And I had this listed for 14 months. And then this is, I was very happy with this sale on eBay. The Dance Co's, I'm sure you all saw when I picked these up. And if you haven't watched that video, go back and check out some of my videos. This is a 42, which is a bigger size. I believe that this is the equivalent of a 10 or 11. If I'm not mistaken, they don't look that big to me. I went on the website and it does say that the 42 was a bigger size. So hopefully I listed these correctly. Size 42 Dance Co's, I got these from a yard sale last summer uh, for five bucks. And so I got them last summer, was it last summer? Or it might've been like around September, the end of summer. And um, I paid $5 for these. So even though I've had them for a while, I actually did not list these because I've been listing other stuff until two months ago, but they sold fairly quickly because they have been posted for two months. There it is. And they sold for $30 full price. I had a lot of watchers on these. I sent $27 offers to plenty of people. Nobody bit. And then somebody came in and paid the full price of $30. These are called Earthbound. It was the first time I had ever heard of this brand. It's like a boho type brand. Um, I wouldn't say it's the most popular of brands. See that Earthbound? It was my first time hearing about them. I got these from a yard sale probably for a buck. Uh, very bohemian, has a super wide black legs. That that uh, leg is super wide. It's like a gazo, is that what it's called? Gaucho palazzo pant type situation? I don't know. Um, no special fabric or anything, size medium. And these sold for, oh, 17? Oh, I didn't know they sold for that much. I thought they sold for like 13 or 15. Uh, they sold for $17 full price and they were listed for 12 months. And then I also sold, here we go, more linen friends, more linen, uh, Jones, New York, size large, 100% linen, just your basic linen blouse with the pin tuck on it. She is a size large, large. And she sold for 20, I'm sorry, $20 full price. I had her listed for 19 months. 
Then I also sold these Edgar and Ellen books. These are like tween, tween, tween books. Who's it by? Um, by Charles Ogden. It was a set of like five of them. Uh, these have been listed for six months and they sold for $25 full price. Now, one of them does have a little bend on the cover and I don't know if I, if I showed that or if that damage was done uh, after the fact. So I'm gonna go and review my listing and hopefully I did take a picture of that. And that was for six months. And then this one, my final one that sold is this J. Jill tunic top, size large. We have those tropical vibes going on here. It's almost long enough to be a dress. It's, she's generously sized. And there were like a ton of these listed on eBay. So after I brought it home, I was like, ugh, competition. <laughs> this is gonna take forever to sell. And it, it actually did take 11 months to sell. Um, and so, yeah, that was everything, friends. I did post some numbers. I like going over the numbers for my own. Per every now and then, I don't do it all the time. Every now and then, um, I think I've made one or two other videos like this. I do like to put the numbers here. And the numbers are not for you to compare necessarily. Uh, when I see people post numbers, it just... I don't really compare my own stuff, but it tells me that it's possible to do better or it shows me things that I could tweak um, and things of that nature. So the numbers aren't to make anybody feel bad if you aren't selling as much as me or I don't know how anybody could be, you know, I don't know how that's a thing because it's not like I'm selling a bunch of stuff. But I just like to be realistic and I like to show you realistic numbers, right? We always see those people on social media posting their six-figure incomes or their just these absurd numbers of money that they they are grossing on these platforms and that's all that it is is the gross so when you see somebody saying oh I made a hundred thousand dollars last year please remember that you are seeing their gross okay and their gross and what they actually netted or made off of their stuff is going to be significantly lower than that hundred thousand dollar figure that they are showing you. I'm not saying that people are lying. I'm just saying that people don't give you the full picture all the time. So don't compare yourself to those numbers. These I think are more in line with your average seller, like me and, me and you. So my gross for eBay for 11 items was $226. That's what I, these items sold for. I took away $34 for fees. What I do is I take the $226 gross and then I multiply that by 15%. Um, eBay has recently made some changes. It's probably more than 15% at this time. I'll have to go back and look. But last I checked, generally speaking, with the final value fees, with the little 30 cents that they charge per transaction or whatever they have going on. That's my cat making noise, sorry. Um, hey! <laughs> Uh, um, I, I calculated that at $34 for fees. Might be slightly higher, might be slightly lower. If you like the numbers, feel free to redo them and post it in the comments. But this is what I got. And my cost of goods, I normally pay about a dollar per item, but I know that I paid $5 for the Dance Go. May have paid $2, 2 or $3 for the Eileen Fisher. There were a few things that were a little bit more than than a dollar. And so I averaged it out. I, I did my cost of goods at around $21. And so that left me with a net profit for 11 items, $171 for five days worth of sales. It's not bad for me anyway. My average sale price, and this is what I really like to look at because it helps me to improve. Of course, my cat would be going crazy now. She's been sitting here quietly this whole time and now she's losing her mind. <laughs> my average sale price for those 11 items was $20.54 and that is right where I want to be right now. Uh, I, I want to go back and look at my old older video and see what the average sale price was back then. I do believe that this is an improvement. And $20 average sale price is what is what I'm looking for. Um, 20 or better. Uh, as I'm looking at this paper, I'm seeing that my lowest sale was $13. That was the men's polo shirt. And my highest sale for eBay was 
$30. So I have a lot of $17 here, $18, $20, and that's what I'm looking for. Now, if you've watched my other videos, I've told you plenty of times that I don't mind selling things for $13 or $15. I'm slowly moving away from that. And I'm really happy with these numbers because I see that I'm getting better at selling things above that $15 mark. So I encourage you, maybe once a month, go over your numbers like I did and try to see where you're at because you're only in competition with yourself to be better than you were before, or at least that's the case with me. Now, another number that I looked at, because I'm, I'm really intrigued to know, there's the light. <laughs> I guess we can go this next minute or two uh, without the light, cats. Um, hey, <laughs> the time that I had these items posted was 13 months. That was my average. I was watching, I believe his name is Daily Refinement. He has a YouTube channel. And I believe that he said that the average eBay seller, their items stay posted on eBay for like a year and a half, I think he said. And last time when I did my video, I added up the numbers and he was 100% correct because my average was a year and a half. That does not work for me anymore. I don't want these things sitting for a year and a half anymore. So, so um, I have to get better at that. Um, so I was really happy to see that my average was 13 months, right? So that's a little better than a year and a half. It shows improvement. But the only thing that really saved me here were the dance codes, were literally the dance codes because they were, they were listed for two months. When I look at this list, I have to say, I'm not really, I'm not really happy. I see there were like three items that were 19 months and 20 months posted that's just way too long for me. So I have to get better at that um, with the average, you know, time that these items are posted. Ideally, it would be six months or less. So I like these numbers because now I can kind of look and see what's taking long to sell and things of that nature. And hopefully you learn some things as well. So friends, I thank you once again for watching this video. If you like what you see, then go on ahead, like the video, subscribe, share, let your friends know, especially those who are starting off and go back and check out some of my old videos. Lots of content like this that shows like your bread and butter type items. All right. And I will see you next time. Have a great day.